Well, this is it. It is in place. It did take a hammer and some amount of attitude to get a couple of pins in. But uh, I now have a uh, receiver rack on the back of my uh, van. So I have a place to add a little bit more cargo uh, within uh, weight limits. I think it said 350. I've heard 350 and I've heard uh, 500. So I'm going to assume 350. Uh, and I'm not going to be hauling anything that big, hopefully. But I will be able to put my generator back here when I'm parked and flip this down in order to at least uh, uh, be able to power the, uh, the AC. So let me go here. All right, I need to get down here and pull this. Pull this. And I can drop it. In the middle here, I have a, a screw that's supposed to hold down the, the uh, upright structure of the receiver rack. All right. Now let's pull this up. Pull this up. And... Flip that in. Okay. And let's do the same thing over here. Very, really relatively simple. Well, I wish I had waited on this one before I did that one. Okay, pop this out. Okay. Pop it up. Pop this up. All right now, pull this together. Pull this together, and voila! That's the receiver rack fully deployed. And I'm going to. It's pretty sturdy considering it's just by nature it's balanced a bit, but I'm going to tighten up a few bolts to make sure it's it's as secure as possible. But that's basically how it's going to look deployed, so hopefully I can stick the generator here, or there, or there, or there. Chain it down and make it a little bit harder to steal. And then be able to run my power in for my AC. Alright, thought I'd better do that before I post this video. And uh, we'll see what I have to do next. Well, I know what I have to do next. I have to get the generator, get it in position, then... Most importantly, I got to get that piping taken care of. I could do that in a makeshift fashion. If it gets real hot, rather than cutting anything, I might just run it out the back door, security's doors, uh, so they're slightly open if there's an emergency, and get it cool in there so I don't uh, quick fry, quick fry to a crackly crunch. All right, that's it for now.